Hello, my name is Sang Lee and I'm an Applications Engineer at Yokogawa Corporation of America. Today I will show you the comparison between measuring total power on a 3-phase three 3-wire three system versus 3-phase 4-wire system. Blondell's transformation theorem states that the total power on a 3-phase three 3-wire three system can be measured with one less watt meter than the number of wires. So for a 3-phase three 3-wire three system, you can measure total power with only 2 watt meters. This method is reliable when measuring total power for a balanced or unbalanced loads. However, it is not reliable if you're trying to make accurate VA and power factor measurements for an unbalanced system. For an unbalanced system, we would recommend using the 3 watt meter method. On Yokogawa power analyzers, this is called 3V3A. The major advantages of using this method is that it works for both balanced and unbalanced loads and provide accurate VA and power factor measurements. In three phase four wire system, you have three phase lines plus a fourth line called a neutral. Each phase voltage and power is measured with reference to this neutral line. Mathematically, this forms a Y connection, which means that the voltages and power being measured are true phase voltages and true phase power. Looking at the waveform display at the bottom half, you can see that each waveform is 120 degrees apart, like you would expect it to be. In addition, when you look at the phase vectors, you will see that it is also in the Y shape, like you would expect. Currents are always measured in series, therefore the currents measured with this method are also true phase currents. In a three-phase three-wire system, you have three phase lines, but no neutral. With no neutral or common reference, the voltages are measured in reference to the phases. In other words, the voltages are measured line to line. With this method, mathematically this forms a closed triangle or delta connection which means that the voltages and power being measured are not true phase voltage and true phase power. As with the previ previous method, the currents are measured in series. Therefore, the currents measured with this method are true phase currents. Looking at the waveforms at the top half, you will see that each waveform is 60 degrees apart instead of 120 degrees. This does not mean your system is observing 60 degrees of phase difference. They are 60 degrees apart because of how they are physically wired. You can confirm that your system is wired correctly by looking at the phase vectors. With this method, you will see that the phase vectors form a closed triangle or delta shape like you would expect. Like I said before, if no neutral is available for your three-phase system, then it is always recommended to use 3V3A method, which uses 3 watt meters. For demonstration purposes, I have connected three-phase load in two different ways. I have connected the first 3 watt meters using th three-phase three wire, or what we call 3V3A, and the last 3 watt meters using three-phase four wire. If you compare the voltage measurements between these two wiring methods, you will see that they are different. Why? As mentioned earlier, the voltages measured using 3-phase 4-wire are referenced to the neutral, whereas the voltages measured using 3-phase three 3-wire three are referenced to a phase. Therefore, they will be different. However, when you look at the total power, total VA, and total power factor measurements, they will all be the same. On Yokogawa power analyzers, you can still measure phase voltages and phase power for 3-phase three 3-wire three and line-to-line -line voltages for 3-phase three 4-wire wiring configuration using what is called the delta option. You can see that these phase voltages from the first 3 watt meters connected 3-phase three 3-wires three are the same as phase voltages from the last 3 watt meters connected 3-phase 4-wire. In addition, you can also see that the phase powers match up. In summary, whether you are measuring a balanced load or an unbalanced load, using the 3 watt meter method is always a reliable way to make 3 phase measurements. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact any of our application engineers or visit us at tmi.yokogawa.com.